Chick-fil-A and get breakfast and I'm headed to a client's house so um, I can't say anything bad so far about alternate day fasting I think the only thing that would kind of throw up a red flag for people is saying that it's a whole day of not eating but for me I don't know maybe because I have intermittent fasted before I've done the 16-8 before and normally I'm just gonna be real most some people you know they get up in the morning and they start doing their morning routine although I love breakfast <clears throat> it could be some mornings that I didn't eat until after 12 not saying that I monitored the last time I ate the day before. Um, when I did do intermittent fasting, I did monitor like not eating after seven or eight o'clock and not eating again before 12 o'clock the next day, which that's what I'm gonna do on Sundays for this because I wanna stay on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday fasting schedule and a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday feasting schedule. So if I hang out Saturdays or something, I can eat and then Sunday if I turned it back into what would be a fasting day it would throw my next week it would make the weeks alternate if I'm explaining it right so I just said I would just make all the Sundays me and my friend that's doing it together we said we would make all the Sundays intermittent fasting which means the day before the feast day we have to stop eating by nine anyway so we stop eating by nine saturday night and then sunday we won't eat until 12 and stop eating at eight and then monday going into monday that's the fasting day anyway so just to keep some kind of um structure to it and not being you know messy with sunday but not but also not want to follow the full fasting schedule to keep us I think I lost train of thought anyway Sunday is going to be intermittent fasting 12 from 12 to 8 we'll eat and um I think that's going to work out good too because it's still keeping a kind of a cap on your eating pattern or whatever um but like I said I, I can't say anything bad about um this this challenge it's good for me um I'm about to eat breakfast again I'm not starving I think you have moments where you really want some food and I'm kind of thinking it's a mind thing too and you just got to push through it unless you have like a medical problem or some kind of um you know something else going on I, I get that or if you really you know you get a headache or you know whatever then you you don't push through you take action you need to eat something and I think that's that 500 calorie thing but um, I'm about to eat breakfast at Chick-fil-A. I'm going to get something. Hopefully, I think I probably should eat something healthy. But I've been craving it because I normally go to Chick-fil-A for breakfast most, time, most of the time. So, 
hopefully my stomach won't hurt um but when it did it wasn't bad it was me having to go to the bathroom so um i don't know if that's tmi but that's what it was we all do it um yeah so far i i'm i'm loving it i'm thinking that this will be something for me that um I can stick to and then again I'm a person that gets on the scale every day although I know that my actual weight won't matter until Monday which is when I started or maybe Sunday I might take Sunday weight because I actually started fasting Sunday night after I, I didn't eat anything after this Sunday at 8 but between Sunday and Monday either Sunday or Monday I'll let y'all know which day my actual weight I'm gonna record but I got on the scale this morning and two more pounds were gone and the scale don't move like that for me it's gonna oh my god look at Chick-fil-a line I should have went to the other one jeez <coughs> um yeah go to the other one that's gonna put make me late but I'm sure they don't have a line especially not like that Because if it moved a few more pounds, I don't know if you remember yesterday I said something about water weight. Whenever I would drink water, it would kind of fluctuate a little bit. But since I didn't drink any water, well I did, I hadn't drank any water, but it still was down more than it was yesterday. So to me that's weight loss. That's, that's some kind of loss going on here. So, I will check back in with you all later. Um, I thought of everything in the world that I wanted to eat yesterday. However, I know that's not going to happen. But, um, yeah. I'll talk to y'all later on it's checking in um, letting you know it is um, almost five o'clock on day four and I have um, I'm full I had chick-fil-a for breakfast that was really good I always get a diet dr. pepper that's what I had I've had three bottles of water I had um, son cooked um, turkey meat taco he cooked turkey meat instead of beef but made um, taco you know mixed with taco seasoning and we had nachos so that had sour cream guacamole cheese black beans nachos um, what else was up there I didn't think what else was on there. I think that was it. Lettuce, um, Rotel tomatoes. And that was it. And I had a plate of that. And I'm full, but we're having um, uh, sauteed shrimp on baked potato for dinner. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner. A smashed baked potato with sauteed shrimp and the little fixing it's on it and that's gonna be my dinner and since I'm full now and it's already five 
and I have to eat by nine. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna eat, but I might take a picture of my plate and post it um, in this video. But yeah, we, um, it's been a, a pretty good day. I didn't get crazy, although I thought I was, but I didn't. I was just checking in, so I will, like I said, I didn't get crazy. I was just checking in and I will and so I ate that and I felt okay that was earlier in the day I'm gonna say that was around maybe two and then by last night I was starving again and I might want to say I was starving yesterday I didn't have any coffee I didn't have any tea I just had water I had that's what I had had up until those points the other days I had coffee or tea so maybe that was I'm gonna say that was a trigger point for my hunger was I didn't have any thing to kind of um, satiate it somewhat um, so So by last night, I had a big, I, I ate a, a piece of slice of cheese bread. They had ordered pizza in the house and I was just so frustrated. I was so frustrated last night. I was hangry, so to speak. And yeah, I ate a piece of cheesy bread and I drank some water. And my daughter bought me a cup of ice, which I always have. It is going on 9.45 now, and I haven't eaten anything else, but I'm about to eat. Um, after I ate the cheesy bread, I was still hungry, but it kind of tapped it out a little bit. Uh, and it was, it was a, probably about that wide and maybe that long it was domino's cheesy bread and it was to me they look flatter than what they normally do so i don't know what was going on with that cheesy bread but um yeah i got on the scale this morning and i was still at six pounds so i didn't gain any weight i didn't lose any weight either so that was this is day five morning so like I said, I'm going to do my weigh-in um, Monday morning. That's going to be my recorded weight of, you know, what I actually lost or whatever. Six pounds is good for me. Um, the reason I say it's good is because even though I ate, um, what's today? Saturday. So I ate Thursday. And when I say I ate I ate. I was so full Thursday night, like I, I had the itis. Why I say that, well, that is, I believe it's a good six pounds is it didn't fluctuate with water. I didn't gain or lose with um, even what I ate um, Thursday. I still lost, I still have a, a negative amount of pounds. So, I'm good with that. Like I said, by Monday, I really will know um, the true amount of pounds that I actually lost. And let's see, I'm about to go get me some breakfast. I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go to Chick-fil-A today. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Biscuitville and maybe get me an egg an egg platter with um I don't know I'm gonna see what they have on their menu <clears throat> but that's where I'm gonna go to um Chick-fil-A I, I keep looking at the wrong part of the camera it's supposed to look like but yeah so I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and get me a um something with some eggs and I have to go I just left the client's house so I got to her house at 7 30 so now I have to go to my next client's at 10.30. So, um, 
I'm gonna get something to eat before I head there. And then I'm gonna um, probably eat lunch. One thing that I do wanna do is like Thursday, I really ate bad. Like I, I ate the nachos with the turkey taco meat and I think I ate two sets of that. And then I ate the, the baked potato with the shrimp sour cream cheese and all of that and i also had chick-fil-a for breakfast i think another approach to it because i was reading this morning and it was saying um you know to still eat healthy so even though you get your calories in don't go crazy still eat your calories because you don't want your body to hang on to the um like think you're starving and then it's going to hang on to whatever you eat but to also um also um eat your calories so your body will know you're not starving all in all again i don't think this is a bad plan i think it's pretty good i think it, my skin looks different to me i look different to myself a little bit like i look a little bit clearer to myself um my hair is okay it's not it hasn't changed any I, I was going through some female stuff and my hair was shedding a lot but it, it's not shedding or matter of fact it's not shedding as much i would say um I'm trying to think what else So tomorrow we're celebrating my mom's birthday and we're gonna cook at home. I'm trying to decide the menu for tomorrow because like I was telling y'all on Sunday, I was gonna just do the 16, eight. So I was gonna start eating at 12 tomorrow and then make a window from 12 to eight and then not eat anymore until Tuesday because Monday would be my fasting day. So not eat anymore until Tuesday. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go get some food and I'm going to get back on and let y'all see what I'm eating on this Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, I was re reading something the other day and it was saying, um, what you do with your body, you know, determines how you're older this shell that we're in how you know you're what you're doing now is what's going to benefit your body later i was like that's I never thought about it like that but that's true and i've always been one to either work out or you know try to eat healthy you know i had my my times where i you know would drink a little bit too much or um different things like that but i've always been one to what is this in my hand been one to try to be more on the healthier side and um lift weights work out or whatever and that's what i want to start doing on this channel too is taking y'all to the gym with me um again taking you on walks with me i wasn't able to walk this morning i may walk later on this ev evening with my daughter and my grandkids um and so if, if we do i'll do some footage out there but um yeah, just get back to a healthier lifestyle, taking care of myself. And um, I think that I've been pretty good to my body because, um, you know, it's, it's people. I'm grateful for my body. I'm grateful for my perfect health and my, um, my body and how I respond to um, eating healthy and working out and exercising. I'm grateful and I'm proud of myself, so... Yeah, um, I'm going to right quick run in the house and get something and then checking back in. This is day two of, well, this is a feast day. Um, yesterday was fasting. Yesterday was Monday. That was my weigh-in day and I topped it off at two pounds. Although I said that I think it was a part of my eating choices also. 
and I'm trying to incorporate something different into it to um, going forward. This is a month challenge, the month of May, so I won't be um, I won't be counting all the weight loss until the end of the challenge. We're human. We fall off. We get back on the boat. We fall down. We get up. That's what we're supposed to do. You're just not going to lay there. Because yesterday I had a bad... Yesterday was bad. Yesterday was fasting day. I didn't reach out for my support. At about... Two o'clock. I had a cupcake. And then I had another cupcake. Then I had another cupcake. And then by five, I picked my son up and he wanted Chipotle. So I had a burrito. Although I didn't eat the outside, I didn't eat the shell, I ate the inside, which was mainly vegetables. It was chicken and brown rice. Um, yeah, so. However, today is an eating day as well. It is 10.25. So yesterday, the last time I ate was at 6, it was about 6.30 when I finished. So I picked him up at 5, and by the time we got through traffic and to, to Chipotle, and I started eating, it was a good 6.30. I didn't eat anything else after that. Um, so from yesterday, 6.30 to now, it's about 14 hours of fasting. I made it purpose, purposely because had I stuck to the fast yesterday and did the 36 hour, I would be eating this morning at nine. However, since I've had my fall down yesterday, I'm getting back on and I'm not gonna be so irresponsible with it. I'm gonna wait until, I think it's like 12 or 12.30, it'll be 16 hours since I ate yesterday and incorporate the 16 hour fast um, and then I'm going to eat for 8 hours not eat for 8 hours but I have an 8 hour eating window so I'm going to incorporate the 16 hours so I can eat today around 12.30 like I said it's 10.30 now I'm going to the track to walk some um, and then by the time I finish that and get home and get logged in to work, I can eat. Um, another thing I didn't do yesterday was instead of, I think I ate the cupcakes because they were there, which they're going to be there. If you live with other people in your household, my grandkids come over, they have snacks there. Um, you know, other family members are there. They have, you know, they have to eat their normal thing so the cupcakes are going to be there but instead of grabbing water or tea I grabbed a cupcake I made a choice to grab the cupcake I consciously made a choice to grab the cupcake so and I ate it I looked at it I threw it on my bed I looked at it and then I grabbed it and I opened it and it's not funny it's human it is funny it's human it's human it's 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 you know this is a, a process and i'm still proud of myself i feel smaller with my two pound deficit right now i probably lost some inches in there i'm sure maybe one or two inches i feel smaller my, my stomach feels smaller um i feel good i don't feel bad even yesterday when I ate, I didn't feel bad that I ate. It happened. Um, and that's what they say. Don't deprive yourself. If you feel a way so strongly, it's something that either your body needs or your mental needs. Do it. To, you know, take it into, learn a lesson from it into accountability. Like, 
I chose to eat those cupcakes. I made the choice to do that. Nobody put a gun to my head. And I knew what I was doing. I wasn't drugged up or anything like that. So, you know, we have to make light of the things we do. And that's, that's a part of uh, our journey as well. And, um, you know, breaking your addiction also is, you know, if I indulged, I got to figure out why I did it. And it, it was because I didn't get some water. I didn't just go in there and say, let me grab a bottle of water instead of this cupcake. I chose to do what I did. So, today I'm going to do an eight-hour eating window. I'm going to stop eating tonight by 8.30 because I'm not, probably won't eat until like 12.30, 1 o'clock. So, by 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight, I shouldn't be eating anything else, only drinking water and possibly getting ready to go to bed. Um, yeah, so I haven't decided what I'm going to eat today. Um, I should have a salad. My body craves vegetables, so that's something that I need to have. Just like I grabbed a cupcake, I need to grab a salad because I, I, I crave vegetables also. Um, yeah, and while I'm out here, I already put my sunscreen on. People, make sure you wear your sunscreen. It's very important. I didn't know that. I'm just learning that. I'm just learning how important sunscreen is. And I'm going to take y'all out here on the little track with me while I do my little walking. And I'm going to listen to some YouTube or some music or something also. But yeah, put your sunscreen on, y'all. It's very important for our skin. It doesn't matter what complexion you are. You need some sunscreen on. Okay. Um, I will get back. Then dip me underway. big part of it too. I want to start lifting weights. I don't want to, I just want to lift weights just to um, tone up a little bit, but just to build up my muscle strength. I don't even really have to see a lot of tone, but like I said, I've always been a pretty curvy thick girl, as you probably Trim this down a little bit more. Like I never had a stomach. I know all of this came from turning into a grandmommy. And just really, I'm not even gonna say that because I still could have been working out, but you know, life happens and we make choices of what we're gonna do on a daily basis. And I started working from home. That was another thing. I've always been a, um, and I was a hairstylist. So I walked around the shop all day. Like I would work 12, 13, 14 hours a day with four children. That was another thing. Like don't let your job work you. I missed a lot of living standing behind the chair. I missed a lot of my kids growing up standing behind a chair. And now it's like I'm enjoying my kids as adults and also my grandkids so much that I just kind of dove, I indulged in that. Once I started working from home, that kid gave me a more sedentary lifestyle. And then, you know, my kids come around, the grandkids come around and yeah it just um it's gonna be wind in this it just allowed me to live a more 
it, it allowed me to live more. I put it like that. But I need to also live for myself and go get up and be active and take, you know, care of my health, my eating habits. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this walk and I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I get in the car. Okay, so my walk is complete. I did that in 45 minutes, two miles. And I'm on my way to, I've been trying to decide what I'm gonna get. So at this moment, I think I'm just gonna get a salad. I want it to be from Longhorn, but I don't know if I have time to get it before I log on for work. That's my problem. Um, I don't even know if they're open yet, but a salmon salad sounds so good. Okay, so I'm back. I did my, I did two miles in 45 minutes which is a good pace. Um, it was starting to get kind of warm out there too. But I worked up a good sweat and I am at Longhorn to get me some, to break my fast from yesterday. So basically at 12 or one o'clock, I can't remember, one of them, it'll be 16 hours. Although I, if I was on the 36 hour feast I mean fast I would have started eating at nine this morning but I broke it yesterday and so at this point I'm going on 16 hours of not eating and like I said I'll do a eight hour window um so after I get my food I'm gonna go home and log on to work and I ordered a salmon salad from Longhorn with ranch dressing. I'm trying to do way better than I did last week as far as on my, when I break my fast, eating healthier because I didn't do that last week. And even yesterday, like I said, I had that cupcake thing going on. So that's a whole nother story, but um, um yeah. I feel good I feel especially after me walking too I feel accomplished and that's the thing of just getting out doing something being active even though I do want to get back in the gym and lift weights just doing some kind of activity can make you feel better like I feel really good right now I feel even though I haven't eaten anything I feel good I feel better than um, just a regular day so this car is parking super close unless I'm parked wrong myself I don't know but um she don't know how to park now she's crooked uh, hold on one second while I get my food Carol? yes ma'am okay. right no day. change thank you, you. alright Let me see if I can get out of this parking space because girl beside me is parked crooked. So let's see. I need to put something on my lips. They are so dry. I need to shampoo my hair today too. To finally do something to my hair. I don't think I'm crooked though. I think she is. I don't know, but maybe I am. Maybe I did. I don't know, but it seems like when we, um, yeah, I did park a little bit close to the line. However, she parked really crooked. Um, I need to shampoo my hair today. Because it's Mother's Day weekend, and I'm sure everybody has 
big plans for this weekend to all the moms out there doing Mother's Day and then I have a birthday coming up next month I'm not gonna tell y'all how old I'll be I don't care though I mean not I don't care I'm proud of my age and how I feel and how I look and everything so um, I don't mind sharing my age I'm gonna go this way I always go through this neighborhood because they have pretty houses and I'm gonna be in one of those one day. It might not be in this neighborhood, but I'm gonna be in my dream home soon, very soon. But, um, you know, we have to speak things. And it took me a long time to learn that, like stop dwelling on the reality, but you know, focus on what you want and only speak about that. And if you can speak as if it already is, like a lot of days I say I own my dream home already. I'm a homeowner. And um, the more you speak it, the more it'll, it'll come into your life. Um, you know, your subconscious mind. And that's a whole nother video and conversation. But it'll register to that. And it'll come in it'll come into your 3d and so I always ride out here as if I'm going home and going to my beautiful home but yeah so back to what I was saying I have a birthday coming up and I I um don't really have a lot of plans for my birthday. I never plan for my birthday, never. I have uh, one of my cousins, she'll call and be like, what are you doing for your birthday? Or she'll text, what are you doing for your birthday? And I'll say nothing, I don't have anything planned. You never plan for your birthday. She always says that and then, so it'll be like a month or two later where I really actually celebrate my birthday. But I, I never do. I don't know, it's like when it comes, I get this thing. No, if it's childhood something from my childhood or whatever but I kind of start I'm not gonna say feel depressed but I just feel kind of maybe down a little bit I don't know and then sometimes I just be like I just want to relax I just want to take a break from today is my birthday but I don't want to do a lot of stuff. And that's how I am. Even when I go on trips, I don't want to do a lot of stuff. I want to go and chill out and relax and just, you know, do me. Comment down below if that's how you are because that's how I am. If I go on a trip, don't plan a lot of stuff for me to do. Like a few things, but the main thing is if we can go sit by the pool or sit on the beach and just relax or sit on the balcony and relax or just chill out and wherever we're staying at, I'm good. Just being away from home and away from the busyness of life, that's all I, that's all I be wanting. So, um, yeah, I have a birthday coming up. I wanted to do a photo shoot. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. It is a milestone, so I should do something uh, like I, I spoke about it yesterday, I will be that age new, not old, but new. And that's the thing I'm saying. Like, we have to watch our words and be careful with our words because words are very powerful. And just like your thoughts become things, your words become things too. And depending on how much emotion you put behind it is how quickly they become things. And I learned that the hard way in life as well. But, um, yeah, I'm going to close out this video for today. No, not for today. Because I might come back and show y'all what I, something that I eat today. Like I said, right now I have a salad from Longhorn. I hope they didn't put the bread in here because I'm trying not to have bread. I'm trying to do something where I'm not, um, not keto but I'm low carb and I think I really need to do that
that to go ahead and get this fasting thing going and keep it off. But I think the shocker of me doing a fast and then saying you can eat was, I'm gonna eat, was the thing of me just going in eating. So, you can't do that, you can't do that. Um, yeah, but comment down below some some videos you want me to do um yeah and tell me you know if you have a birthday coming up what are your plans as well as um you know if you don't like to do a lot of things on your birthday comment down below to let me know that i'm not the only one uh yeah i will check back in with y'all later show y'all my salad I am logged on to work and I need to get some work done. I just wanted to show you what I'm eating. And I always, I like to taste my food. So I haven't chopped this salmon up in the salad yet, but I'm going to, so. And enjoy this first meal. When I ended my fast on the app called Zero, and I will link that in the um, description box, I had done 18 hours for the fast. So, um, mm, it's good. I wish it had some eggs in it, but it doesn't. It's fine. This has cheese, tomatoes, and cucumbers, and the salmon, and I think the salad is the spring mix. But it's good. I'm gonna eat this and get some work done. Um, like I said, I'm already logged on to work, so. Mmm. Very good. And I use um, ranch dressing. So, yeah. This is my first meal. 